And regardless of um, who we are, where we come from, all of us have a money story. There is a story about wealth in our family, whether you had money or you didn't have money, that we can all reflect on and begin asking questions. And whether, you know, maybe you come from a very progressive family that has money, that has, you know, worked hard and been, you know, uh, to your knowledge, uh, you know, not exploiting uh, people or whatever. But if you begin to peel that back and understand that, you're going to see that there have been a series of decisions made in your family uh, where you have benefited from public policy that favored um, white people over others. Maybe you were able to get into that school or maybe your family qualified for a certain package from the government. And so a lot of the work that I do, it still goes back to history because even if people don't see a connection to colonization or genocide or slavery, it's like, well, let's talk about your grandparents. Did your grandparents benefit from the GI Bill in the United States? The GI Bill created the middle class in the United States. Yeah. Well, that bill only, uh, um, there were certain groups of people who were excluded uh, from benefiting from that bill. Everyone did not get put into the middle class, right? And so it's really helping people understand that uh, history does matter. There is historical, uh, there's been a historical, uh, you know, there, there's historical policies and systems that have been built to privilege um, white people. And that's in the yeah. U.S. and that's around the world. And, um, you know, so those are things that we have to account for. And when we're thinking about especially charities, especially not-for-profit or, or, or NGOs, when we're thinking about moving into communities to want to help, we have to understand the historical context. Yeah. If you care about education, there's a reason that white people have better education than other people. <laughs> um, <laughs> you care about homelessness, there's a reason there's more homeless people who are people of color, right? And so um, you have to bring history and uh, to the table every time around the problems you're trying to solve and put that in context, but also about your own privilege and your own wealth and understanding that um, there's a history that disenfranchised those and there's a history that may have benefited you. Yeah. And so I ask folks to go on their own journey around understanding how wealth and colonization and history has uh, benefited their family and their institution. Because if you start asking the questions, you will find something there. <laughs>